right here, if you guys want to look behind you, that's called an arena. It's back there. Take a look. <laughs> there we go. That's an arena. And, and that's, that's a where, horse. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not oh. Yeah, <laughs> not that good. <laughs> Alright, so that's where people ride their horses a lot. And he's not going to ride in there, so we're fine and we can make noise, but anywhere else, a little bit quieter. Oh, but up there, see you over there. If we're walking back there and you feel the need to jump and scream, that would be the place to do it. I promise you guys don't want to jump and scream. It's going to be exciting. Just smile, you know, it's totally fine. I'll be happy. Alright. So we're going to read over do's and don'ts. Do you guys want me to do that real fast? Okay. So the do's. Talk to your horse when approaching. It's pretty self explanatory, right? Do you guys talk to your animals at home when you're walking up to them? Yes. Come on. We should do a puppy head now in the morning. I do that every morning with my dogs. So with the horses, we don't need to do it that much. People might not appreciate it as much. But if you want to talk to them, so we have a pony named Mimi. You guys are all going to meet Mimi too. So when we go see her in the morning, maybe you say, hi Mimi, hello Mimi, and you kind of let her smell you, put her hand, all that stuff. Alright? Sounds good? She's around the other side, you guys will see. Oh, he is right in. You guys make it to watch a little. Alright, so we're going to do that with most of the horses because if you just run up to them, sometimes they may not see you or hear you. Right in their faces, they freak out and jump back with them. And the reason they do that is everyone put food in front of your face. <laughs> right here. Okay. Can you see what's in front of you? Yes. We do that. Yeah, through your hand. I do like this. I'm going to take it up a little bit like this. <laughs> Make it a little bigger. Alright. That's there. how they see. Yeah. Yep. Horses can only see on the sides. So if you wiggle your thumbs out like this, That's what they can see. You guys are like a turtle. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. That's all the horses can see. So that's why when we walk up to them, we talk to them and you know make sure they hear and see us. They have to turn their heads a lot. Alright, so watch the biting and kicking ends. What are those two things? Okay, biting is about the chompers. Their mouth. See that guy? Can you see his mouth? Yes. Their noses? No. At the front end? Yeah. No. It's his head. You got it. In the back end it are their legs. Mostly their back legs, but sometimes our horses, you guys will see when they're standing, they'll start pawing, they'll scratch and scratch and scratch. It's because they want attention or food or pets or something. That's them kind of begging. Did you know horses sleep with sleep standing up? Yeah, that's a very good idea. Did you guys know that too? Yeah. Yeah, they lock their front legs. And actually when they're comfortable enough though, they'll sleep lying down. It's really cool. And they can shake hands. They can, but I'm a little afraid to shake hands with the horse because they're so their hooves are really heavy and if they do it wrong, they're gonna smack you a little bit. Not so cool. But they pick their feet up, you guys are gonna do that this week too. Alright, so close all stall doors and gates after catching a horse. Do so you guys know what catching a horse is? No. Okay. We don't really use that phrase. Yeah. It's basically just when you go and put something on your horse that you can walk it around and feed it. Oh, that's on the second page. This is the second page. Oh, this is the third page. It is. Oh, hey, you hooked the head. Good job. Thanks. Yeah. And then, um, basically, whenever we're done with anything we use for the horses, we want to put it back where we found it. And we're going to show you where we put everything. And some of the don'ts we do is um, running and screaming. That's definitely a no-no. And if you, well, if you have an angry horse, we'll let you guys know, and all of our horses are super nice. But if you guys ever start riding by yourself, you wouldn't want to put, put two cranky horses together, because they'll nip fit and kind of argue and fight a little bit. All right, really quick, everyone see those bars over there? Big metal poles? Mm -hmm. Those are called our cross ties. Everyone say that for me. Cross, cross ties. Good job. So, if we ever give you a pony and say, bring it to the cross ties, where do you bring it? Point to me. Very good. Those are the cross ties. Those are the cross ties. So you're all set. Alright. Any time to your food. Good job. Alright, so when we horseback ride, you guys, you can see everyone is wearing jeans. Awesome. We're going to wear those all week, except for Thursday, but we'll let you guys know. Because we do something else besides ride. 
But yeah, the juniors will keep your legs from scratching on the saddle, and it'll just be a lot more comfortable, and it's good to have them. Then you won't get sunburned too. And let me see everyone's shoes. Everyone's, okay, beautiful. Those shoes are perfect. We want closed toed shoes all week, no matter what. Um, when we horseback ride, we always wear helmets. And we have a bunch of helmets here for you guys because you need special helmets when you horseback ride that are just extra strong and really good for safety. All that kind of stuff I'll show you guys in there. And you don't want to chew gum or eat, so if you guys have any gum, just make sure you spit it out before you get on your ponies or horses, whichever ones you use. Are you going to add today? Not today. But this is just for all week. And girls, your hair is perfectly fine. Just keep them kind of low like that because if you have a ponytail tail way up here, you know, kind of like a little broccoli tree. And you try and put your helmet on, it's going to hurt your head. Then we got to pull your ponytail out and mess your hair out. And you don't want to mess with your beautiful, beautiful hair. So we'll keep all ponytails low if you want. And if you want to bring a hairband, you can put your hair up when you're riding and take it down when you're done. That way you can see. Yep. Makes it a lot easier. Alright. And guys, um, I'm sure we'll be good about keeping your hair. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> fine. <laughs>